Welcome to e Knowhow. In this video, we will be looking at uh, how to build a CMOS exclusive NOR gate using gates as well as transistors. So let's start with the symbolic view for the CMOS exclusive NOR gate. So symbolically, it's represented like this. So where there are two inputs, say two or more inputs, but let's consider the two input case and the output is Y. So this is the CMOS uh, exclusive NOR gate. And now let's see how to build this. So first let's start with the, the truth table for this. So we have A, B, and Y. And let's write all the conditions. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Now if you have for the exclusive NOR gate, the output would be high when the both the inputs are the same. Otherwise, you would get zeros. So this is the invert of the exclusive OR gate. So let me put this in a table format. So now, let's write the equation for this Y. So Y would be A bar, B bar, plus A, B. So how did we get this? We got it from A bar, B bar, Y is high, A, B, Y is high. So that's where we got this. Now let's put uh, two inverts for this. So Y is A bar, B bar, plus A, B, put two inversions on this. So this would be, let's take, keep the, keep the top one. So it'll be A bar, B bar, whole bar. And this would be an NAND, now AND operation. No longer a plus, it'll be a multiply. So, and this is A, B, whole bar. So that's what we get here. Now let's try to realize this. So we see that we need uh, we need A bar and B bar as well as A and B to get this. So we need to use the two inverters to to actually realize this. So let's put uh, two inverters to get A bar from A, and then we have another inverter to get B bar from B. Now let's put the first set of NAND gates. So the first set of NAND gates has one has inputs A bar and B bar. Those are the two inputs. And for the second NAND gate you have the two inputs are A and B. So you got B from here and you got A from here. So A, B and then finally there is another NAND gate here. So this is how you realize using gates. So now if you look at the number of transistors that are used, 4, 4, 4 for 3 NAND gates, 2 and 2 for the inverters, total of 16 transistors. Now let's do the same thing using the logic that we did used for uh, the CMOS uh, exclusive OR gate. You can look at that video too. So in this one, what we do is we actually ha have two PMOS devices in series and two such branches in parallel. So we got this. And then on the top, the sources are connected to VDD and these two are shorted here and this is your output and we similarly on the ground side we have two NMOS transistors in series and two such branches in parallel here and the bottom side is connected to brown so now we need to choose the right inputs for 
all these eight gates to realize the exclusive OR gate. So for this one, what we need is, let's look at the truth table again and see where you need the ones here. So you need a one when both the inputs are zero or both the inputs are high. So you need a path one is VDD, which is a path towards path two VDD. So now what we can do is we can put A bar, B bar here. So what it means is when both A and B are zeros, uh, or when both A and B are ones, A bar and B bar are zeros to turn on this transistor and this transistor here. So you have a path to ground, path to VDD. And then if you put A and B here, now when A, a and B are, uh, are both zeros, you have these two P channels are on and you have a path to VDD again. So we fulfilled this and this. Now we need to look at the path to grounds here. This case here and this case here. So in this case, so one case is A is, a is low and B is high, you have a path to ground. So let's put A bar and B. So when A is low, A bar is high and B is B is high. So it's zero one case. You, these two devices, these two NMOS are on and you have a path to ground for the output. So the output will be ground. Now let's look at this one, the third, the third row here. And in this case, A is high and B is low. So you put B bar here. So when A is high and B is low, B bar is high, and these two and most devices are on, you have a path to the output will be grounded. So this is how you realize the exclusive NOR gate. But you just keep in mind, you still need those two inverters to get, to get A bar and B bar from A and B. So now if you look at the total number of transistors used, 2 plus 2 and then 8 here so you got a total of 12 transistors that are used for this in this approach to get a to build a CMOS exclusive NOR gate